Hey, you guys. Okay, so apparently there were some deleted Foodie Beauty community posts, and I found them thanks to chicken at Peggy Hill equals D3. I think it's chicken pickle. The name's very confusing. <laughs> so we're going to read these together. The first one, it says, oh, I'm boozing today. You literally are going to put your poor daughter. I say poor because she has to put up with you through college on hating me, LMAOOO. Nice example you are. Well, foodie, as much shit as you talk about my daughter, like as much as you talk about her, I kind of feel like you should help out a little bit. So yeah, every time you talk about her, I take a certain amount of money and I put it into her college fund. That doesn't make me a bad mom. That makes me a really good mom. And I hate to break it to you. I'm doing something right. My daughter has skipped from the fourth grade to the fifth grade, is in all honors classes. Weekends, her amazing mom spoils the hell out of her. We don't just go to the park, foodie beauty like you say. We go everywhere and we experience new things. Your mom may have sent you away, foodie. I know that's a hard reality, but stop trying to paint a picture that I'm a bad mom. Just because you didn't have a good example and people couldn't deal with you doesn't mean I'm the same. I'm an amazing mom and you can't take that from me. No matter how many community posts you make, oh, just boozing. Oh no, I used to booze. Oh, I was a horrible alcoholic. Like at this point, foodie, you need to come up with a more creative name. And I can help you if you need help with that. <laughs> oh no, just boozing. Oh, you got me there. You know what? I have over five years sober. I have a roof over my head. I live in a beautiful city. I have somebody who actually loves me that I don't have to pay for to hang out with me. He chooses me. I don't have to throw a dime his way, foodie. Like I am everything you are not. I am everything you can never be. And I feel sorry for you. All right, let's look at the next one. And thank you again, Chicken Pickle. Um, okay, so this is from, well, it's not really from six minutes ago. This is another Foodie Beauty community post. Just a reminder, also before the pearl clutching begins, I only ever rage when pushed to a limit. Humans have limits and learning to smile through constant abuse of myself, my husband, and family is very hard to do. And most can't even do it. This is in comparison to... People following me in public to take photos to body shame me. Foodie, you were literally walking by and I think they were just like, oh, here's Foodie Beauty out in the wild. I don't think they followed you. I don't think they stalked you. I think you just happened to be going by. And Foodie, like much like celebrities, I hate to break it to you. You choose to put everything about your life on a platform. You choose to upload videos about your life. You cry when people don't pay attention to you. I'm not saying every celebrity is like this. I'm coming to a point. Foodie, if you choose to live your life in a public way, you cannot be mad when people talk about it. Much like how TMZ does to reporters. Do they get way too involved sometimes? Yes, they do. And I can say that. But, but, celebrities also choose to put a portion of their life online. It's just, you have to look at it both ways. Foodie, if you truly didn't want people to talk about you or have a reaction to you, you would live your life in a much more private way, yes? Do you want to know what I think this is? I think you're raging before Ramadan officially starts. I think during Ramadan, you might disappear because you don't want us to see you sneak food and rage. This is what I think is really going on. Okay, so let's continue. People making countless streams for hours body home etc shaming with literal panels of adults do i do this foodie you have made fun of yaba's trailer you said ffg lives in a motel six you've made fun of my nose my kid my life and if we're gonna compare i'm doing much better than you <laughs> you've made you've spent countless hours raging about us raging about all the things that we have that you will never you make community posts after community post after community post talking about me, talking about other reaction channels, raging about them. If you want to talk who's obsessed, you're obsessed with reaction channels. I hate to break it to you. I don't see anybody else acting like this. 
just you. Um, no, anyway, no madness life. What even are you? You literally look like a big, ugly foot. Stop being Islamophobic with your stupid self making fun of Salah's dishtasha. You are an adult. Grow the hell up and go learn something about culture, you daft donkey. Foodie, do you even know anything about the culture you're, you're pretending to be right now? You admitted you learn everything off Instagram. You film people when you're not allowed to. You film places you're not supposed to. You show an actual hookah and you think that that's shisha smoke. You showed coals. You're like, oh, and this is the flavor. Like, you don't know anything you're talking about. Um, Let's see. Oh. You and Kaya literally have planets growing on your faces. And you have the nerve to even open your mouth. That's how she ends it. That's how she ends her community post. So after she's just complaining that people spend hours body shaming her. And they're literal adults doing it. She just body shamed Kaya and no madness. Booty, you need to grow up. Something is really wrong and you need to go find help for it. All right, you guys, um, I would love to know your thoughts on this. Let's talk about this in the community and the community post section. Let's talk about this in the comment section. Um, Booty, if you're going to talk shit, Stand by it, own it, and delete it. Or if you're going to delete it, take accountability for what you said. The other day, I was so annoyed and I reacted very immaturely. And I made a long community post talking about Yo Mama's two teeth. And I heard you guys. People were commenting, eh, this isn't like you. This isn't like you at all. Like, come on. And I heard you guys, and I'm like, you're right, it's not about, like, th- this isn't this isn't me. He can body shame me, that's fine, because it says everything about him. Like, did I need to make a whole community post? So I deleted it, and I took accountability for it. Foodie, I don't know why the memo got lost when it comes to you, but when we make mistakes, we don't just act like they never happened. That's why you keep failing miserably at life, because you keep pretending That things didn't happen. If you delete it, it doesn't exist. If you run to another platform, your past doesn't exist. When are you going to grow up? When are you going to take accountability? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You will never progress in life. You will never grow in life. You will never change. You will never do better until you learn to take accountability. All right, you guys, let's talk about this in the comment section. Let's shake off Foodie Beauty's bad vibes and negativity. Shake, 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 shake. And let's do it one more time. Shake, 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 shake. And now guess what, Foodie? Guess what I'm going to go do? Go put more money into my daughter's college fund. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.